Hi and welcome to module six of this batch cooking batch lady course where today on module six we are talking about measuring and portion controlling in cups okay so if many of you have followed me before or if maybe you're new to batch cooking but um, if anybody follows the recipes that I do on the batch lady you will know that I give you the recipe in the cups and in the grams so that you can do whatever one that you like. I personally love working in cups. Cups is a very American sort of Australian way to work um, but I think it's brilliant for time saving because it saves you weighing and measuring everything on a pair of weighing scales. The problem is with weighing and measuring is you have to get your scales out. You often need another sort of implement to put on top of it and then you need to use something else to put it in and it all gets a bit sort of messy. I love, if you've ever watched say my 10 meals in an hour and um, when I do my mints one I love the fact that I use this spoon and I use one pot and I really don't need anything else okay so that's why I love to measure in cups it just makes it so much faster so on this module today I want to just quickly chat about the differences in cups that you can get because there's lots out on the market and I want to show you my favorite ones I want to show you how to properly measure in cups especially when it comes to baking I want to show you how to know the equivalence of between cups and grams and the same in liquids um, and I also want to show you exactly how I use cups to keep track of portion control okay so once you've finished cooking and you're dividing everything up into your freezer bags how cups can really help let's get started okay so when you come to choosing measuring cups if you've decided to buy some um, and you're wondering what ones to buy there are all different ones out there and I just want to show you the differences between a few okay so if you go into any supermarket or you're looking on Amazon you'll see lots of different ones now you can get between China plastic it's whatever you want but one of the things you must be aware of because lots of people in the UK don't realize this is a cup is not a teacup or a mug it's 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 called a cup but it is an actual measurement okay so you will find with your measuring cups is they all have a measurement inside them so one cup is usually round about um 240 um mils something like that okay half a cup is about 120 a quarter of a cup is uh, 60 and then you've got a little eighth of a cup is 30 so that's basically how it works okay um and it works on mills, so it works on liquids. But the main thing is, for you, if you are just following a recipe that has cups on it, as long as you've got measuring cups, you can just easily follow that recipe. So you'll know with my Batch Lady books that I will have like a recipe and it'll say put half a cup of this in, one cup of that in, and that's the easiest way you can do it. You're just doing one cup, you're doing a half a cup, and it's that quick, okay? If you were doing on grams, in, in my recipe book, you can do it in grams if you want, but you're gonna to have to get your weighing stuff out and weigh it out like that, okay? So, um, in terms of different ones that you can use, um, there's tons of these little china ones that you would have seen in the shops. They're so pretty, they all fit inside each other, and they look really beautiful, okay? But I would say, if you're just cooking and batch cooking, they're quite impractical. One, they're china, they're gonna break. Two, they're just a cup. So you, once you've measured, you can't really do much else with it. Um, and the same with these little ones, which are more like um, little jug ones, okay, which look lovely and they tell you the measurements inside it and everything. Um, and, and they look so pretty, um, but they're more for show, I would say. The ones that I would say to get, these are on my website because you can get them on Amazon. They're kitchen craft and they are cup measurements that are in spoons, okay? So your full cup, your half cup, your quarter cup, and your eighth of cup. The reason I love these is they're plastic, they're sturdy. I have had these for about four years. They last forever. They go in the dishwasher. But I love that you can measure with them when you're making your um, recipes, okay? Then you, you can put this in a hot pan so you can use it to stir all everything that you're doing. So it's great as a big spoon. And then you can portion control it out at the end. Having the handle really helps, okay? So I would say, this is what I love to do. These are my go-to. I would actually say go for measuring spoons. And I like these ones because they're quite hard plastic. They come in all different colors. And I have seen them, I've got them as well in a metal and wooden version. So if you don't like buying plastic, you can buy the metal and wooden version. You just can't put them in the dishwasher, okay? 
Now, let's talk about conversions. You can, if you're worried about converting anything, in terms of if you're following my recipes or my books, you don't need to worry. But if you want to convert anything, have a look in some of these shops like Home Bargains or um, B&M stores or anything like that. They quite often have these little conversion charts. I'm gonna let you see this on the screen. So these charts will tell you how many tablespoons, how many mils, and what the equivalent is in cups and everything. So they're really handy. I okay, so I just want to quickly talk about how to actually measure in cups, which is really important, especially if you're baking. So if you're following any baking recipes, it's important how to do it. Okay, the best way um, to measure if you are measuring, say, flour, and always remember, just because something says a cup of flour, doesn't mean that it's the same as a cup of sugar. Somebody has done all these measurements and worked them out when they do the recipe, okay? So I tend to just put it in the bag and then use the side of the bag and use my hand to get it over. But you want to make sure basically that it is flat, okay? So if I do that, it's pretty much flat. But you want to make sure it's like that. That is a cup, but that is such a quick way. If you imagine I'm just going right one cup of that, one cup of this and in it goes, just saves so much time. I want to now show you how you will portion control out an actual meal. I've got a batch lady meal here already ready to go and be portioned up. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that now. Okay, so here I've got some kima matar. Okay, this is a recipe that comes from my healthy um, eating book um, and I've, I've already made it up. Now I've used the spoon when I was actually mixing it around the pot and it was done as a double batch, okay? So I've already got one batch in the freezer. So I just want to show you in your sort of labeled bag how you would go about doing it. So just to let you know, if it's something like a curry, I mean, this is a type of curry, but it's not sort of a saucy curry, but if it's like a curry, spaghetti bolognese, um, if it's anything like, um, like chili or anything that's really sort of got the same sort of substance as a curry and a chili and that sort of thing, then your portion control is generally one large cup, one cup is an adult, half a, cu half a cup with a little bit of a heap on it is a child's, okay? Now, it's entirely up to you. Some people would eat two cups, it's whatever you want. Government guidelines, one cup is enough, okay? And you might think that's not very much, but remember you'd be having it with rice or a naan bread or other things on the side. So this is just in terms of the core recipe. So um, if I had this in a big um, in a big pan and I sort of tripled it or doubled it, you'd then be thinking, oh, how much do I take for each um, portion, but you'll be able to work it out. I'm going to make a portion of four, but you could be making single portions or double portion or, or portions for two people. And you just know each cup is one person. So that's one adult. The next adult, that's two. And then I should get four out of this. So that's three. And this one should be my fourth and that's four. So I know that that's four adults. So we have got teenagers, so they're gonna eat four adult portions. There's a tiny little bit left, probably whatever was short of going in the other one, about a quarter cup can just go in. But that lets you see that when you are batching and you're batching big portions into smaller bags, that using your cups work really well in terms of measuring out. So if you're two adults and one child, you're doing two cups and one half a cup and you know that that's a complete portion for you. The reason portion control is very um, important when it comes to batch cooking, remember, is if I take this out of the freezer and I defrost it and I cook it, I have to use it. So I don't want to take any more out than I actually need, okay? I just, so I know that this is exactly for four people. If I'm thinking, for example, that there's going to be a night that the kids are away doing football or hockey or something like that, then I might want to instead portion this into two so that there's a portion for my husband and I and a portion for the kids. And I just it just depends then how many I take out. It gives me that option. Or, for example, if everybody's not going to eat at the same time, you can just take um, half, you can, you can defrost it like this, you can take your couple of portions out with your spoon, heat, up, heat that up, and then um, anybody else that wants it later up on can heat their own up. That saves you wasting some as well. But the minute you've cooked it again, 
you can't reheat it. So that's the way that you have to think about it. So portion control is quite important when you're getting batch cooking. It also means that if you can get more portions out of what you've made, less dinners for you to make on another night. I hope you've enjoyed this module course on using cups. Thanks for watching. Bye.